The Queen Elizabeth II tenure as the head of the state had been marked with major political events, the transition from the Empire to the Commonwealth, to the end of the Cold War and the United Kingdom's entry into the European Union. The reign spanned 15 Prime Ministers, in Britain starting with Winston Churchill till Liz Truss. Take a look. At my coronation, I shall dedicate myself anew to your service. But I want to ask you all, whatever your religion may be, to pray for me on that day. To pray that God may give me wisdom and strength to carry out the solemn promises I shall be making. And that I may faithfully serve him and you all It was a somber morning on the 6th. February 1952, when 25-year-old Elizabeth Winster acceded to the throne. That momentous day was full of sorrow for the young monarch, who had just lost her father a year later on the 2nd of June 1953, Elizabeth was crowned the head of state of the UK and, the UK and 15 other commonwealth realms, and thus began her royal journey. Born on the 21st of April 1926, Elizabeth Alexandra Mary was the first child of the Duke and Duchess of York. Her father, King George VI, ascended the throne 10 years after her birth, and Elizabeth dedicated her life in service to the Commonwealth. Eleven years later, in November 1947, Elizabeth Alexandra Mary married her sweetheart, Prince Philip. Mountbatten. The royal couple had four children, the Prince of Wales, Prince Charles, the Princess Royal Princess and Prince Andrew and the Earl of Wessex, Prince Edward. The Queen ascended to the throne at a time when tea was still carefully being rationed. It was shortly after the economically devastating World War II. Britain soon found a comfortable ground. The economy grew, so did the royal family. The Queen witnessed the marriage of her children, the birth of eight grandchildren and twelve great-grandchildren. Royal successes, royal troubles and royally sensationalized splits and the loss of members of the royal family. She saw it all. There is a famous saying, the Prime Ministers come and go, but the Queen stays the same. Queen Elizabeth II or II is the UK's longest reigning monarch. She saw 15 Prime Ministers under her reign. From confident Winston Churchill to the latest leader of the government, Liz Truss. In a world where the royals are criticized for being stuck in its past, glory queen elizabeth was viewed as early modernizer of the monarchy in 1970 she televised a special program with the bbc based on their everyday lives it was the first time the british public had a window into what royal domestic life looked like as the years went by royal dramas began to envelop the buckingham palace and it peaked in 1992, the Annis or Rebellis, the year when the house of Winston Castle went up in flames. But the monarchy faced one of its toughest tests in 1997 when Princess Diana died in a car crash in Paris. The Queen's initial silence didn't help, but the Queen's admiration of Diana in her address to the nation later proved to be the saving grace. She was an exceptional and gifted human being. In year 2002, the Queen completed 50 years in power. It called for celebration, for joy. But once again, Elizabeth was grieving the death of her dear ones. The Queen lost her sister in February 2002, followed by the death of her mother a month later. As the years went by, the Queen's choices, her favourites, became a matter of public interest, from the Queen's favourite cake to her specially bred dogs. The Queen and the royal family have been regularly featured in the tabloids. The Queen's reign continued and so did it to troubles and increase security of the royal family.
Prince Andrew, believed by many to be her favorite child, faced allegations of sexual assault and has retreated to the background in recent years. Then came Prince Harry's decision to quit royal duties and move to California with his wife Meghan. It was the beginning of a bitter feud within the House of Windsor. The biggest personal blow came last year when the Queen bid goodbye to her husband Prince Philip. Around that time, the Queen's health also became a cause of concern. In October last year, the Queen had to spend the night at a London hospital which led to her not being able to attend the annual Remembrance Sunday service on the 14th of November. She has slowly been retreating from the public eye with her to the throne, Prince Charles filling in for the crown at major events. On the 6th of Feb this year, the Queen celebrated her Platinum Jubilee. They were mega shows and rallies planned around the big day. London was joyous. Britain was celebrating their queen. Queen Elizabeth, also known as Lilibet by her doting family, was never big on splendor. She also was a stern monarch when it came to business. She took a serious and informed interest in government business things. Aside from the traditional and ceremonial duties, the Queen spent final days at her favourite royal residence, the Balmoral Castle. With her passing haters, truly the end of an era. And the big question now is on the survival of the British monarchy. So subscribe to Samar Hamdani for more informative content.